Okay, thank you for joining me back over on the Unbiased Sports Network channel. Thank you for coming over from the Great Iron Media channel. I appreciate you guys. Um, we're over a thousand subscribers thanks to you. You guys have shown so much support, and I really do appreciate it. We're very close to actually being monetized on this channel. Again, thanks to you guys. So thank you for the support. And I'm going to just continue to try and put out as much content as possible. I still have the Gridiron Media channel. I have Rumble. And I have the website. And that's what we'll get to here. GridironMediaProductions.com. I'll have the link uh, in the description below. So let's get into some Giants news. It is... Uh, it's, the news is not too great. I'll just put it that way. Wandale Robinson, Giants rookie second rounder, had a big day yesterday, um, but he also tore his ACL uh, on, on, a, on one play towards the end of the game. Tore his ACL, he will obviously miss the rest of the season. This is uh, a big loss for the Giants. They're pretty thin at wide receiver right now. So they're going to have to rely a little bit more on Richie James, David Sills, Marcus Johnson, maybe Kenny Galladay. Darius Slayton is kind of their number one guy at this point. Um... But they really worked Wandell Robinson into the game plan yesterday. A lot of targets. So this is a huge loss. Um, seeing that rookie second round pick who they, they really started to kind of uh, make more of a focal point in their offense. He's going to miss the rest of the season. Now you look at you look ahead to next season. He's probably going to be out a good amount of time. Um, obviously this is a pretty serious injury. So you don't know when exactly he's going to be back even next year. The Giants are going to go into an offseason where they're going to have to find, I mean, essentially an entire depth chart worth of wide receivers going into next season. Darius Slayton, his contract is up. They're probably going to release Kenny Galladay. So, you know, to start the season, especially, I doubt Wandell will be ready for the start of the season. We'll see. You might have a completely new, you know, starting group of wide receivers at the start. Like, completely new. So, big injury loss. For the Giants here. We'll move on to the next topic. Uh, Dory Jackson, another big injury lost their cornerback one out four to six weeks with an MCL sprain. The Giants are facing some good receivers moving forward, whether that's A.J. Brown, whether that's Justin Jefferson, whether that's Michael Pittman. There's a bunch of good wide receivers left on their schedule, and uh, it's, it's, it's going to be a tough one. It's going to be a tough one for the Giants' defense without a Dory Jackson. Fabian Moreau also kind of got banged up yesterday. We'll see how he is. I'll give you an update on that moving forward. But bad news. Bad news for the Giants secondary. They need a Dory Jackson. He has played very well for them this season. So to see him out four to six weeks, not good. Not good for the Giants. Two big injury losses. They were already kind of thin uh, at wide receiver, at cornerback. So these two are, are very big losses. We'll go to the third topic, and I like to keep you guys updated on what's going on with Odell Beckham. I know that you probably are, at this point, tired of it. You just want a decision, because it's been weeks and weeks and weeks, probably more than a month of just, is Odell going to sign with the Giants? Does he like the Giants? Does he want to be with the Giants? Is he going to go to the Cowboys? This and that. It's just been nonstop. There was a report uh, yesterday that he's planning to meet with the Giants and the Cowboys. So there's that. He then tweeted this yesterday. They went crazy. And I think many people thought he was talking about the Cowboys game where they put up 40 points against Minnesota. Charles James, former Giant, says, uh, so you celebrating on the star? And then he commented, Odell commented back, saying, I miss Saquon. So I think he's just trolling both sides. I think he's just making this whole thing interesting. You know, saying it looks like he kind of likes the Cowboys a little bit more than he looks like he kind of likes the Giants a little bit more. Who knows? We'll see.